Hey there, YouTube. Let's try that again, shall we? Hey there, YouTubers. Um, and more specifically, Katie. Uh, I just watched your video. Uh, I'm in my best friend's apartment right now, Stephanie. She was she was premiered on one of my other videos uh, a while ago. Summer uh, Love 921. Yeah, what she said. Summer Love 921. Uh, I'm in her apartment right now. We, I just stayed the night here last night. I'm very surprised I'm not hungover. So that's always fun, not having a hangover. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get down to this response to Katie. Um, I'm pretty sure I've explained to you my views on religion before. If not, I'm pretty sure I've probably done a video about it before. I don't remember. If I haven't, well, here's just going to be another one. Or, well, here's going to be the first one if I haven't I'm tired shut up um, <laughs> don't you like if I tell my, the people who watch me to shut up <laughs> yeah anyways um, I consider myself agnostic and we might drink <laughs> no it's just melted ice oh, well. oh, wait, yep. take a water 79 <laughs> 79 cent drink circle K they should pay me for this shit call us Five 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 one two three four. <laughs> what? It's a fake number, but. <laughs> Anyways, um, totally lost my train of thought. Video response. Well, I know I'm doing a video response. I just You're don't agnostic. remember. Yeah, that. Okay, yes. So I consider myself agnostic. I don't really adhere to one religion or another too much. I have sort of my own relationship with God. I don't believe in organized religion. I don't believe in sitting in a room with some guy telling me how to worship my God. I don't, you know, that's just, every, I think every person needs to have their own relationship, not a relationship that someone tells them how to do it. You know what I mean? Um... I mean, I've been to church. I've read the I've read parts of the Bible. I've read parts of the Book of Mormon. I've read parts of the Quran. I so in saying that I, you know, don't adhere to one religion or another. It's not that because I'm uneducated. It's because I've you know read bits and pieces of it. I just don't really believe in one thing or another. Um, I'm going to adjust myself now. <sighs> What just happened to my screen? Oh, okay, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> sorry, I have like Stephanie got me sick. So I'm sorry. Anyways, um, totally forgot what I was gonna Everyone say next. Have their own relationship with God. Well, I remembered what I had already said. I just don't remember what I was going to say next. Oh well, then I can't help you there. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um. Ah, uh, brah. That's pretty much, I guess, all I was... Oh, I remembered. Okay, so you were saying... Shut up. Don't slap your forehead at me. Um, you said about the thing with your mom, about how she died. Um, my grandpa, during one of his many surgeries, um, ended up having his heart stop at some point for, like, a couple minutes. And I remember him telling me that when he woke up, or, like, during that time, this was after he woke up, obviously, um, but during that time, he actually had a conversation with his dad. Like, they were just kind of sitting at this table, and it was kind of like this big, bright room, or, like, white walls or something, something like that. And he just had, like, a conversation with his dad, and at the end of the conversation, he was just like, his dad was just like, it's not your time to go. And that's when my grandpa woke up, or when they revived him, and so... I don't know. I believe there is an afterlife. I believe that... Um, I don't I don't really believe in heaven or hell, specifically. I One thing that I heard that I kind of liked, that I resonate with, is that everyone does have a soul. <clears throat> and during these afterlives... Our souls basically choose what we go through in the next life. So I do believe in reincarnation. Um, that they, you know, they choose the 
the pains, the, the experiences they go through in life in order to better themselves. And, you know, I believe you live as everything, you know, over your lives in order to better your soul, better yourself. And I think that's actually, for me, when I heard that, I, I, it sounded like something that is what I could believe in. I could truly resonate with. Um, as for a god, I don't believe it's any really sort of human-like figure, like, you know, with human features, a face, things like that. I believe god is sort of this all-knowing, all-seeing entity, not necessarily in any sort of corporeal form. Um, it's just sort of in everything, in, you know, everything that we do, everything we say is shaped by this by, by this God, and that isn't to say I don't believe in free will. I do, I do believe in free will. I believe that whoever this God is sets up events, and we react to it on our own, um, which is where the, what we choose, what we go through comes, comes in, um, so, I don't know, that's just the way I look at things, um, it works for me, you know, it works for my life, if you guys don't believe it, I mean, that that's on you, you know what I mean, like, I don't believe anyone's going to hell, I don't believe anyone's going to heaven, I just think it's one giant thing where we're all together, I mean, I don't know, so, yeah, I miss you, Katie, you know, we don't talk enough anymore, that makes me sad, sad James. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah!